In addition to protecting the rights of the citizens, judiciary also has the overwhelming responsibility of delivering speedy justice. This issue has been especially highlighted in the wake of the recent incident of a gruesome crime in a moving bus in Delhi, Mrs. Kumar said. Indian judiciary had evolved in its role as the guardian of the interests of the poor and weak, but lack of resources and complicated procedures impeded many from approaching courts, the speaker said. We need to find potent means of providing legal aid to the marginalized groups to reassure them that the judicial system is indeed their guardian, she said. I have never heard uh, judiciary being uh, criticized on a platform where such eminent judges are sitting, uh, including the Chief Justice of India, and they all have to rise and defend. <laughs> Exceptional. I must congratulate you for this. And in a parliamentary form of government, and this is the written, written text, please. In a parliamentary form of government, the Constitution is the fountainhead of all power. Each of the three organs of the state, that is the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary, derive their power and authority from it and function within the constitutionally determined parameters. This enables them to work in harmony with each other. Recognizing this, the visionary founding fathers of our Constitution provided for separation of powers and independence of the judiciary. Under the Indian constitutional framework, while the legislature legislates and exercises oversight on the executive, the judiciary interprets and adjudicates upon these laws. Democracy has taken deep roots in our country and blossomed over the years. Attaining the cherished ideas enshrined in our Constitution is a collective responsibility which has been bestowed on us. We, the Parliament, Government and Judiciary have to work in tandem to reinforce people's confidence in us. We have to be responsive to the requirements of changing times only then can we justify the faith the Constitution and our people have reposed in us. I compliment you, Sri Sudhan Shuranjan and Routledge India for bringing out this publication. I have no doubt that it will be immensely appreciated by the academics and legal professionals. I want to assure you that this book will find its place on my desk and I will refer to it again and again while assuring the Chief Justice that my respect for judiciary will remain intact.